when Śrīla Prabhupāda wanted 17 volumes of Śrī Chaitanya Charitamrita printed and ready for book distribution in two months. The devotees were working hard overtime trying to get one book every three months. That was very difficult for them. And Prabhupada said, I want all 17 in the next two months. And he didn't say to start it in a month. He wanted them to start on that day with no preparation. And one devotee said, Prabhupada, this is impossible. And Prabhupada's reply, famous quote, impossible is a word in a fool's dictionary. This was Prabhupada's broad vision. But it wasn't just theoretical, it was based on faith. And within two months, all 17 volumes were published. And it wasn't easy. They had to bring the whole art department and everything from New York and settle families in Los Angeles, all within two months. Lord Chaitanya and Lord Nityananda, they predicted that the holy names of the Lord would be chanted in every town and every village throughout the world. Bhaktivinoda Thakur, he envisioned devotees from America and Europe and Africa and China and Russia, people from all over the world gathered together with their Indian brothers and sisters, chanting the holy names of Lord Chaitanya and Lord Nityananda here in Sri Mayapur Dham. Today we see yet another wonderful confirmation of Bhaktivinoda Thakur's vision. Why have our acharyas given so much stress on the holiness of Mayapur? Radha Krishna Pranaya Vikritir Ladini Shakti Rasmat Ekat Manavapi Bhavivava Deha Bidam Gatao Tao That the Supreme Lord is one. But for the purpose of loving pastimes, that one Lord has become two. Shri Shri Radha and Krishna. Now Radha and Krishna have again become one in the form of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, who is Krishna with the loving sentiments and the golden complexion of Srimati Radharani. Rupa Goswami at Prayag, he offered the prayer, Namo Mahabadanyaya Krishna Prema Pradayate Krishnaya Krishna Chaitanya Namane Godat Namaha. The Lord incarnates in many times according to the revealed scriptures of the world. But of all incarnations, including Ram and Krishna, the most munificent is Lord Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, because he is coming to give what no other incarnation has given, the highest experiences of spiritual love to everyone, without consideration of their past, without consideration of their particular status or where they may be from. He's giving it simply for the price of one's sincere faith. Once in a day of Brahma, that means over four billion years, and a night is another. So that means once in over eight billion years, the Supreme Personality of God had appears in his original form of Krishna and brings with him the highest realm of the spiritual world of Goloka, performing pastimes to attract the hearts of everyone back to his loving Leela. Vrindavan is called Madhuryadam because of the nature of the sweetness of those pastimes. The cowherd boys are thinking Krishna is simply friend and having loving relationship, playing, joking, as they herd the calves or the cows throughout the day. Yashoda, Nanda, and the elderly gopas and gopis, they love Krishna as their child worrying about him like any mother and father would worry like a child, intensified by millions of times due to the nature of their love. This month in Kartik, on this particular day of Diwali, Yashoda Mai bound Krishna with the rope of her love. Krishna wanted to reveal to the world that he is conquered and subordinate to the sweet love of his devotee. That love that is not compromised by awe and reverence, but love simply for love's sake. Not because Krishna is God, but because Krishna is all attractive. And the gopis, their love for Krishna was so sweet, in the mood of lovers, with pure, unselfish hearts, 
the greatest acharyas have proclaimed that of all religions there is no no comparison to the purity of the surrender and love of the gopis and of the gopis the origin of all spiritual love is shrimati radharani Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is Krishna in that mood of Sri Radha to distribute her love, to distribute the rasas and the happiness of Vrindavan to everyone. When Krishna appeared, Sri Vrindavan Dham was only accessible to a very rare few. But Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu opened up the gates to invite and welcome everyone into the pastimes of Vrindavan. That took place here in Sri Navadweep. Therefore, our Vaishnav scriptures and acharyas declare that Navadweep and Vrindavan are absolutely non-different. They are one. In the age of Kali, Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu and his associates, who were all descendants of Goloka Vrindavan, they performed the Leela of Vrindavan. As Vrindavan is Madhurya Dham, the place of the highest spiritual sweetness, Navadweep is Odarya Dham where that sweet pastimes is open for everyone. The most magnanimous, the most accessible, and the most rich with loving emotions of all holy places in this universe is Sri Navadweep Dham. In this age of Kali, at a time when people are the least qualified, Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu here in Navadweep, along with his associates, made the highest experiences of spiritual happiness totally acceptable, simply through properly chanting the holy names of the Lord. Here in Sri Navadweep, Lord Chaitanya revealed his compassion for all living entities and his special love for his devotees. Sri Chaitanya Bhagavat, Chaitanya Mangal, Chaitanya Charita Amrita, these scriptures are about these most beautiful principles. The ecstasy of the Lord's love his compassion for every living being and the intimacy of his love for his devotees and the devotees' love for each other in the spirit of his love. You were listening to Radhanath Swami on devotionalnectar.com.